Righty oh, righty oh. So, I've got a couple of big ones this morning from the big tree. So I asked Dick the other day, I said, what's happening now with all these other durians that's left since there's so many? And she said, oh, I'll ask Papa. So she asked Papa, a couple of days later, she finally got back to me. And she said that, um, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. And she said, um, oh, fucking Jesus Christ. Oh. So I asked her about um, what's happening with the harvest. And she said, oh, Papa said they're coming back. And, um, oh, we need a bit more. Oh, 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 we're a bit more ripe. I said, okay, I said, so they paid him seven grand to book it. Then they paid him another two grand because they said they took more than they expected. But, however, they're coming back. Yep. So that means it's more money for Pop? Don't know. Don't know if that's included with the seven grand they originally paid or not. I said, what's confusing on this fact that they gave him an extra two grand and said it's more than what they expected. Okay, change subject. Move on. It's fucking hard talking with Filipinos, guys. Seriously. And as Christopher Holmes said, Chris, hey, buddy. Buddy, mate, Chris. As Chris said on the chat last week, he said, you know, when you're married to a Filipino, guys, it's like playing fucking crosswood. Fill in the blanks. And I'll tell you what, it is. So I just, when a conversation starts to go south like that, I just cut it off straight away and just walk away. Because it's not worth fucking getting confused over and getting hot-tempered over. So it's best just to fucking walk away. You know, it's like, honestly, it's just fucking useless. And that's why I say to you, I say, that's why your country's so fucked, darling, because no one can communicate. One department can't communicate with another department. I said, we go to immigration, and they said, oh, we need, oh, we, oh, we need, um, we need this receipt from when you first got it 12 months ago, and uh, we, we haven't got it. We end up finding it, it wasn't even fucking wallet. Oh, bloody hell, fuck me. Oh, God, I'm sore. Um, right, standing up is no problem. So they said, oh, you're going to have to contact the Manila. This is in the immigration devour. You have to contact the uh, Manila Immigration, the records department, and um, get them to pull off your file and send us a scanned copy. And she said, well, why aren't you fucking calling them? You know, it's your, it's your department, it's your government, you know, like... Hello, your immigration devour, their immigration up in Manila. What's the GO? They said, no, you have to do it. It's like, fuck me, one department won't talk to the fucking other. And the same as when she goes for the, um, the doctor's appointments, right, talking to the secretary. Fuck me, that's like bloody p fill the crosswood in, I tell you. It's just, all you want is a simple fucking, will the doctor be there on Friday and can I get an appointment? Yes or fucking no. Ten fucking messages later on, you work out that, yes, the doctor may be there, and you just have to come in and see. Ten fucking messages later. Honest. Fuck me, that's why this country's so fucked, I tell you. And it pushes us Westerners to the limit, because we're used to organisation. We're used to, when we go to people, being professional and say, if I come to you as the secretary, the secretary of the, um, say, the doctor, it is, hi, how can I help you? Um, my husband needs an MRI checkup, and um, we've been referred to get one done. He said, uh, where, where can we get it done and who can do it? Okay, man, well, our one's out at the moment. It's um, being, being recalibrated. But there is one over at Deval at hospital, sick me off. And if you go to hospital, suck me off, then um, they can do that. I'll give you their contact number now, and they can, you can book with them. That's what happens in the Western world. But in this world, is that fucking screen pretty? But in this world it is, we don't have MRI. Okay, you have a sign at the front displaying the new MRI, the first one in Mindanao. It's not connected. Okay, where can I go in Tugum to get MRI done? Now, as it's not connected. Where in Mindanao, stop. Stop and read my question. Where in Mindanao, the Vow Tugum, can I get an MRI done? The Vow. What hospital in the Vow can I get an MRI done? Oh, yes, ma'am, it's the STG, the DVAD, and the TPEE. So then you've got to Google that to see what the fuck it all is. 
Seriously. So I'm booked in on the 6th, I think, 6th of September. Because the one at um, Tugum isn't installed. It's all fucking bullshit. Um, one's down in that, um, there's only two in Davao. One is down, and the other one's got lots of books. Where's my booking for MRI? December 9, 11 December 9, I thought it was the 6th. See, so lucky I didn't say this on the 6th. So December the 9th at 11 o'clock, we're booked in. So um, it takes a lot of fucking around, guys. And Chris, you're right, it's like playing crosswood. All right, guys, I've got shitloads to do today. So I've got to get Big Red done. I've got to get the corn done. I've got to clean up the, the uh, slicing machine. Got to head into town. Got a lot to do. A lot to do. And Bob's coming. Bob will be here on the farm tomorrow, guys. And Andy, who was on the farm and left, thank you very much. You're a bloody gentleman, mate. And I hope you find all the endeavours that you're looking for. There's going to be one lucky girl out there who's going to be very, very, very lucky. All right, guys, we're going to say ta ta. We've got lots to do, hey, babe? What are you doing? See what she's doing. You doing fuck all? Ah, oh. hey, hi. Thank you for your pizza last night. Very, very nice. What are you making, baby? Chopping banana. We have so much ripe. Shit, yeah. Yeah, this is ripe from the tree. Is it not sharp enough, or do you need me to attack? It's okay. It's okay. So it's okay, man, to know it's not sharp, but I'll just fucking carry yeah, on. Yeah, look, but it's okay, because it's right. Because I have an electric light sharpening machine that takes two seconds to sharpen it, but no, it's okay. So you just let them go at that. All right, all right, busy day today. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.